All right, boys, what is going on? So today is new car day. So this is probably the last ride in the Subaru, which I'm actually kind of sad. We haven't had this on the channel, but I've had this car for like eight months and I've put like over 17,000 miles on it already. But this thing has been really great, honestly, for daily. I won't miss it a little bit, but I really want something a little bit cheaper and we're gonna get something a little more fun. So we just got the check from the bank and um, we're about to meet with the seller and then about to get this car. So I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we can make a lot of content on that. And I'm kind of starting to think about selling the other cars. So I'm, I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm very excited. So once we get back, I will show you the new car. I'm very excited and try to get a little review going on that one. Bro, how am I gonna sell my Subaru? Oof, this might be the only time you see this little setup right here. I'm gonna miss that car. That car is a great car, honestly. You should get one. Don't get this. All right, boys, after all this time, it took forever for me to get the plates. I had to keep going back to the DMV because they thought that I forged a signature for the title. So this is gonna be the official first drive of the car and I cannot wait. I've been waiting like, I've been waiting days to drive this thing. So we're gonna see if she's a little ripper. I've taken it down the block, that's about it, but I haven't really like gotten to get on the car so we're about to see i'm very excited all right it's my first kind of pull so i'm gonna downshift real quick actually for the third damn this thing really makes a lot of noise i love it that's cool damn this, the blow up that really fucking goes dude Oh, this thing is sick. I can tell this thing's got some power to it. Once we get to this uh, next little turn, I'll be able to like actually like get on it a little bit. This truck was in the way, so I couldn't like really like nail it, but you got a feeler for it. This thing is definitely, I can tell why people like these so much. I can see this thing being a lot of fun. All right, where there's turn is, I'll be able to get into it like a little bit. If these cars, uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to get into it actually. We'll see. Damn, you're spinning a little bit. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing I can see. Ooh, I want to race that scat pack now. All right, so this is what the interior is looking like. So as you can see, like I said before, it's a base ST1. So cloth seats, they're actually Recaros, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that till recently. But I also didn't know a lot about these cars, but I really wanted the cloth, honestly, because I felt like I've sat in the leather ones and to me, they just had so much bolster right here. And I'm a smaller guy. And like, to me, like I felt like they just, they really wrap you. And I felt like on long car rides, because I knew I was going to be driving this a lot, that they would bother me a lot. So I just was like, I'd rather get the cloth. And I feel like it's going to be easier to keep these cleaner. But the only thing I really wanted was the Sync 3, which I'm going to be making another video. I already bought it. I actually already have it. I'm about to start putting it in. But I wanted to show you guys the interior before I start doing that. And um, yeah, like after having um, Apple CarPlay and stuff, it's super hard to go back to this. This is super bare. Like all you really get with it is just the Bluetooth, which is cool. But like, I feel like it sounds terrible and it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, once you have Apple CarPlay, it's hard to go back. Like you don't want to not have it. And then, um, I'm going to just cycle it on and then show you guys what the, there's like an infotainment screen right here. So you can see like what's, what's on there. Ah, don't copyright me. Okay, yeah, so you get the ST. So, all right. Yeah, that just keeps popping up. No big deal. But you can cycle through your speed, your trips, you know, all your basic stuff, odometer, fuel, which I've been doing pretty good. This is all like around town. Um, instant fuel, distance to E, you know, all the regular stuff. And you can cycle out of it. Um, there's a few other things. 
but it's pretty nice for like what it is like to me it gives me enough information and i'm i'm pretty happy with it i would just leave it on the speed but very basic like i honestly love basic things like this that's kind of why i wanted something like this too just the, the more basic it is the better it is to me and it's cool you have your gauges it's fun watching the boost one um yeah besides that I don't think there's really much else to show you guys interior wise because it's pretty bare. I mean, it's clean, but it's pretty bare and that's pretty much it. Yeah. But besides that, I don't really know what else to show you guys in here because there's not really too much. This is very basic. Um, I could try to show you real quick, just going through it. Like I said, I'm changing this out for the car play, but you can hook up your phone. You know, here's your radio. You can scroll through the different ones. Um, just kind of leave it there. Yeah, there's there's really not too much to this, honestly. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it because it's so bare. Like I said, literally just your radio and you can hook up your phone, which is pretty cool. And like, other than that, you know, you can use the sync command. But honestly, I just feel like the sync command is honestly kind of trash because like half the time they don't know what you're saying. So I never, I probably will never use it, but it's there. It's an option. You can use it if you want to. And besides that, you know, there's really nothing else. Like everything is all mechanical climate control stuff. Um, your shifter, the panty dropper, traction control. Here's your little well. There's not really too much room in here, honestly. That's my one complaint your glove box Just, there's not really too much room in there either and that's pretty much it the only other cool thing that you guess you get is uh automatic lights which i guess is a pretty nice touch but other than that that's that's really it and then your regular steering wheel controls for your cruise control and then cycling through the gauges and then all your ones for your audio stuff and then that's it. Right, so, so since we were having so many issues before, this is legit my last ride in the car. I'm actually like very sad. Not gonna lie. Like I'm gonna miss this car a lot. This car is just like, I don't know. It's a great daily uh, to be honest. And it just has a lot of the bells and whistles that I would want. But losing Apple CarPlay is gonna, it's gonna hurt the heart a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. So we're gonna have to get that Sync 3 installed. I'm trying to find one right now. If anybody has one, if I don't have one by the time I post this video, yeah, hit me up because I've been looking for one. So if you got one, let me know. And after this, uh, we're going to start doing some Focus ST content. I'm very excited about that. So hopefully we can start doing some cool stuff with that. I already have a couple plans. I already have a couple things ordered for it. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it because it's my daily, obviously. But I would like to autocross it. That would be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to figure out what else I want to actually do with it. I will probably, because I already have an access port. I will probably end up putting an intercooler on it and an intake and then I'll probably tune it and then see where we're at and what kind of numbers we're making. And then after that, I, I really don't know where I want to take it from there, but we'll see. But I'm very excited to see how this car plays out. Also, at the time of this recording, dude, we're going to be monetized now. YouTube lowered their standards of 500 subs and 3,000 watch hours, which we meet both of them. And I don't have any strikes on the channel, so thanks a lot for the support, guys, because we're about to be monetized. That's crazy, because that's what I've been working for. So I appreciate the support. I hope we can keep growing, and if you guys can, apparently there's going to be, like, super likes and stuff now. If you guys can give that, I want to start growing the community. Like, I want to have more people that are, like, we're all closer, if that makes sense, so that I can really, like, be closer to the, the fan base, even though there's not really any fans, but... I want to like actually show like I'm fucking real not like this I'm just trying to make content for clout because that's not me I want to actually just show people this is what I this is the cars I'm doing try to give people real information and show like from a real person this is how things are so if you guys can support that I would appreciate that and I, I promise you I'm going to keep making videos and just try to keep getting better at it and eventually you know one video is going to take off I just I feel it I know it and I can't wait till that happens and all the work just kind of pays off because we've been at it for almost two years and you know there's a couple videos that have great views but I just feel like the sub count for that is kind of low and I wish more people like would like to engage in these videos so 
please help me out by doing that. It definitely helps out the channel. And, you know, I, I really like to like getting comments and when people DM me on Instagram and stuff, like I respond to everything and I respond very quick. So just, just keep messaging me or whatever. And, you know, I'll try to do the best that I can to give you like whatever kind of information you want if you're asking me about something. So I appreciate the support, like I said. So see you later, Subi. Bro, how am I going to sell my Subaru? All right, boys. So that's going to finish this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very excited that we got this car. I didn't expect to get something like this, but honestly, it's actually a lot of fun. And I've been driving it around now for like about a week or two. So a little bit, it took me a little bit to like get this review out. But hopefully I showed you guys a little glimpse of what it is. And we're going to start doing some stuff to it. Like I said, I'm already getting the Apple CarPlay and stuff in. And then after that, um, I'd really like to do an intercooler. I already have a tuner, so I'd like to get it tuned. Possibly run E30 just to see. I, won't, I probably won't keep it on E30. But I'd like to run it for a little bit. That'd be cool. And then I want to, I really want to autocross this car. I feel like this car would be like perfect to like learn how to autocross. And then maybe we'll autocross the Mustang. Cause I kept saying I was going to do that. And I, I still have not taken it to the track. And I, I really want to take that to the track. So I don't know. We're, we're going to try to start making some videos like that. I feel like that's going to be like more fun content. The truck content has been a flop, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited and hopefully you guys want to actually watch some st content I, I feel like the st content and the mustang content like those two are going to be the ones that like people watch because it seems like nobody wants to watch the truck stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you can like comment subscribe i would appreciate it go to a thousand subs we're almost there peace out oh i got the super i'm gonna miss you